yes once again good evening to all of you in the morning class we have seen the concept of constructors okay let's see now one more topic garbage collector right the same concept that we have discussed at the starting of the semester okay garbage collector means it is one of the predefined java program program which is used to collect which is used to collect unused memory space which is used to remove unused memory space okay i mean in c language in c language if you are going to create some 10 bytes of memory among this 10 bytes of memory you have used 5 bytes of memory and what about the remaining 5 bytes of memory it is wasted it is wasted i mean uh, this concept i have defined in the starting of the semester i think okay let's see uh, something like like this okay so in the starting of the semester i said garbage collector is one of the system background java program running along with our regular java program for collecting unused memory space so this process will make performance of the java program okay there what i said if we are going to allocate 10 bytes of memory for the program among those 10 bytes 5 bytes are used and the remaining 5 bytes are wasted meaning that there is no concept to remove that wasted memory coming to c++ you can able to remove that wasted memory using the concept of destructors but the problem is whatever the uh, so writing the code for that destructor concept is very complex coming to java language there is one concept that is garbage collector which will able to remove already allocated memory directly by invoking garbage collector concept okay in c language if you are able to create memory able to create memory by using free you can able to remove that in c++ you can able to deallocate already allocated memory by using the concept of delete but in java there is no need of uh, any invocation automatically jvm will call garbage collector at required times whenever there is a necessary to remove unused memory space then jvm will invoke garbage collector and garbage collector will in turn remove this unused memory space see when you are going to get uh, the unused memory space you will get unused memory space whenever you allocated something for example i have created some object like cscc equal to new csc now there is some class called csc for this class there are some data members are there na for that it is going to allocate some memory and it is going to referred by the variable c meaning that object it's going to address 100 address 100 now uh, my usage of this uh, c object is completed then there is it is not necessary for me then what i am going to do i am going to make it as append with null meaning that this will be assigned with null so that the link will be deleted now what about this alloc allocated memory it is not deleted we we are saying that we are we deallocated we uh, make this value as null that's it but we didn't delete this physically so at this time we require garbage collector because if you remove this uh, allocated memory so that this memory can be used for some other purpose so mainly mainly whenever wherever you observe unreferenced objects unreferenced objects there you require to call garbage collector you require to call garbage collector okay as i said garbage collector will be called by jvm automatically automatically but the problem is but the problem is we don't know when the when the garbage will be collector will be called by jvm we don't know when the garbage collector will be called by jvm if you want to make explicit call of uh, explicit call of garbage collector then you can use a method called gc method 
which is defined as static in a class called system class so through this system.gc method you can able to call garbage collector explicitly explicitly okay if you want to see the uh, structure how they have defined let me show the profile of uh, garbage collector it is present in java dot long dot system class we have defined a method gc method as as uh, somewhere it is there yes public static void gc yes this gc method they have declared as static static we need to call with respect call with respect to its class name that is why we are writing it as system.gc method so whenever you write this code automatically it is going to free up free up already allocated unused memory space memory space so when when you observe this kind of situations generally we'll observe what uh, unreferenced objects like uh, whenever uh, you are going to assign uh, a null value to an object like uh, whenever you observe nullifying an object nullifying an object meaning that you have used, you have created some object for that object you have referred it as null meaning that it is not pointed to any location then that already pointed location will be having some data you need to remove that at the time we can call it as unreferenced object and sometimes csc c equal to new csc and csc c1 equal to new csc new csc what will happen here for c object there will be some reference and right it will be pointed like this some memory will be read for uh, c1 contains some address 200 that means for already allocated it will be pointed like this now what i am going to do is uh, i am going to copy the value of c1 to c now what will happen whatever the value that is present in c1 that is present in c1 that is 200 will be copied to 100 meaning that now it will be pointed like this this pointer will be removed meaning that this is now already allocated memory but i didn't delete this i didn't delete this meaning that whenever you observe whenever you observe assigning assigning one reference to other one reference to other you have to call garbage collector you have to call garbage collector okay so why sir you are saying that garbage collector will automatically called by jvm yes definitely garbage collector will be called by jvm but but we don't know exactly we don't know exactly at what time jvm will be called by the garbage collector so if you want to make it explicit call for the garbage collector then i will go for system.gc command and uh, at some times uh, you can observe uh, you are going to create uh, anonymous objects anonymous objects at this time also you you have to uh, use garbage collector because anonymous objects are for, meant for only one time use and anonymous means uh, no name for these objects when there is no name for these objects i can use for only one time hi right, sir while creating while explain the concept of objects i said uh, you can create an object in two ways one is one is through anonymous another one is through reference okay see mm, where the concept of uh, this is a class i think yes object see uh, in object here one way is i can go for unreferenced object meaning that this doesn't having any name any name. if it is having no name then we can use for only one time if it is uh, having some reference we can use for multiple times yes when there is no name for that we cannot able to use we cannot use for multiple times so at the time you have to call for the garbage collector call for the garbage collector yes what i am saying is here if you want to remove 
unused memory space in your program you have to call gc method you have to call gc method generally gc method will be called by jvm whenever you call gc method explicitly explicitly this gc method will in turn call a method called finalize method finalize method and so like uh, why i am explaining this finalize method means this finalize method is also called for each and every gc method call i mean this finalize method is invoking for each and every time whenever garbage is collected meaning that whenever we perform some clean up processing some clean up processing then finalize method will be invoked so i mean if i want to show some proof for you then i have to use this finalize method so the structure of this finalize method is protected void finalize method and we can override this finalize method if you want to override you can override so that you can display customize messages or if you want to make some kind of operation uh, so that you can use this finalize method yes okay what i what i want to uh, do here is um, something like uh, i have a class let us take i have a class called csc csc and it contains a program driver string ox okay here uh, i am going to create an object csc c equal to new csc new csc now i would like to make um, some uh, unreferenced this one i will make as a null whenever i make as null null then uh, if i want to make deallocate this memory all allocate memory like for example ila create outunda yes so it contains some address 100 it will be point like this then what i am going to do i am going to assign it as a null to so make it as null it is not pointed but this memory is already allocated so if i want to make free then i will call system dot gc method okay if you want to write something you can write okay this gc method if i want to show proof this gc method is going to call one method that is finalize method that we can override right so for that what i am going to write is protect void finalize finalize i will print whatever i want print whatever i want i mean let let me show some example okay i have already written some class here hmm. text t equal to new text i have created some object and i made this object as null meaning that allocated some memory for that allocated memory i at the reference the reference then i can call a system dot dc method so that so that it will deallocate the allocated memory also unused allocated memory okay if you want to make uh, this address of this t then i can go for uh, hash code hmm. system dot out dot intel n uh, some address plus p dot hash code okay i will i will make it clear hmm. then to make whenever this gc function is called gc method is called i will uh, i will overwrite the finalize method protected void finalize method finalize method call finalize method call okay let me save i'm going to compile java c space test dot java you will get the answer as uh, uh, 
finalize method called java space test right i mean first it is going to print some address some hash code then i make it as null then uh, the finalize method is called meaning that whenever you make whenever you make some kind of uh, reference as null reference as null then if you call this gc method automatically it will print it will call finalize method see guys if i make something like once again system dot gc now uh, is finalize method is called no because no because up to here up to here uh, uh, everything is alloc uh, unallocated i mean all allocated will be removed now there is nothing to i mean unallocate so you won't get uh, it won't call finalize method am i right or not yes finalize method is only one time called or else let me write some more thing test p1 equal to new test now, uh, now i am making like t1 equal to null t1 equal to null okay right then you will get now two times finalized method is called one is for this reference one is for this one right finalized method is called finalized method is called guys let me write this gc command here Here. If I, now you will get only now also you will get only two times because because this GC method will call finalize method only when if it is unallocated any memory. See observe. observe. Right or not? Only two times it is getting means GC method will invoke the finalize method when. Allow it deallocate the existing memory. Okay. So here the important point you need to remember is JVM will call JVM will call garbage collector implicitly at required times at required times. If you want to make it call explicitly explicitly, you can use a command. System dot gc method so that will call explicitly, and this gc method will in turn call will in turn call finalize method mode. finalize method meaning that who will call finalize method garbage gc method will call finalize method don't say that this JVM so finalize method will always called by gc method okay this is for today's class okay.